Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J, and today's video is this makeup look. I'm going to be showing you how I created this gorgeous neutral look using affordable makeup. Oh yes, I'm back again with another affordable makeup tutorial. So if you want to see how I achieve this look then definitely keep on watching because this one was fun this one was fun to create so let's go the first thing is obviously brows so i was a little bit terrified because you guys know my ofra don't play gel it's not drugstore honey so i reached for the nyx control freak eyebrow gel and i tried i really tried with this product i was thinking since it's an eyebrow gel that it would actually lay my brows like the Ofra Don't Play Gel, but I mean, it combed through my brows, but it just didn't lay it down. I even tried to dry it down. None of that happened. I tried to press it down. You can see the level of disappointment in my face, but we move because I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let this, I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let this deter us from creating a snatch look. So use the brow products that you enjoy using. And then eyeshadow palette today is the I Heart Revolution Pumpkin Pie Palette. I love this palette. I think it's a beautiful neutral palette. You have that beautiful dark brown, which is good for darkening up your outer corner. So this is what I came up with, and this is what we're going to replicate on the other eye. So starting off with this brown shade, um, there, it's like an orange brick type of shade I really really like shades like this they're usually the ones to hit pan first in my palettes because they're so good so versatile so I'm packing down my outer corner and blending it in and then I'm using this lighter um, peachy color to just blend out the edges you know how it is when you lay down a color you have to try and blend it out just so that you don't know where the color is starting where it's finishing it's a smooth transition smooth blend and then I'm going into this shade, which is a very dark brown shade. And I'm packing that slowly into my outer corner and blending that slowly into my crease. This is going to be a back and forth motion just to make sure you've got the intensity, but also the blend. So take your time when you're doing this one. There is no, no rush. You can't rush perfection. Once you're happy with that, go in with your NYX um, glitter glue. I love this for highlighters um, on my eyes. I love it for eyeshadows, for shimmer eyeshadows, for glitter. It just packs a punch. And this particular eyeshadow I'm using from the palette is a little bit chunky. So I thought that the base would definitely allow it to adhere more to my lid and will also keep the shine because a lot of bases tend to dull shine but the next one is pretty good my eyeliner is from makeup revolution um it's just the black eyeliner that comes in these pen shape i know it comes in blue as well and i think brown not too sure definitely check out the revolution website if you're looking for more colors of this every single product i'm using in this look will definitely be linked in the description box as per usual my primer today is the elf putty primer i have a review of this product i really really like it i think it's a really good um pore blurring primer just make sure that you let it dry down and set properly before you go in with your foundation because if not it will just slip and slide and that's really not what you're looking for so yeah foundation of choice is the maybelline superstay foundation this is the 30 hour wear one and i decided to go with shade 70 didn't mix in any other shade um because you know what sometimes you get tired of mixing like let's just be honest <laughs> and i just thought you know i'll i'll make it work i'll use the concealer to brighten it because Mama didn't want to <laughs> Mama didn't want to mix anything on that day. So we're using that. I know it's dark, <laughs> but bear with. Concealer is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C12.7. So don't be afraid to finesse your foundation. If it comes up a little dark, you can highlight, you know, the brightest points of your face just to bring in the definition and you'll see how it just transforms. You know, because you're going to put a brown bronzer, your face powder, 
all of that good stuff. So yeah, if, if your foundation is slightly dark, you can finesse it. And then to set that, I'm going to use the Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe Setting Powder. And this is in shade medium three. I also have a review of this powder. And I absolutely love these makeup brushes from Joy Adenuga. You guys know I talk about her makeup brushes because they're fantastic. I do have a video showcasing her makeup brushes and the brushes that you probably need for a full face of makeup. That's for any skill level. So definitely check out that video. And you can also save some money on her brushes by using my code. And just going down the lower lash line, I'm practically using the same shades that I used in my crease. So first of all, that really beautiful um, orange brown shade and then going to blend that with the lighter peachy color. And then I'm going in with the Revolution Coal Eyeliner. This is just a black coal. I love it, it's nice and smooth, it's just effortless. Bronzer is the Revolution Glow Splendor Bronzer. This is an, uh, a matte bronzer in dark. This bronzer is pretty dark for me, so I normally just, you know, I'm careful with this one, because if not, it can look pretty dark on me, pretty, you know, like I've tried too much. <laughs> So you, I just use a light hand with this one, but yeah, use your favorite br um, bronzer to just give your face some more definition. And as well, the foundation I use is slightly dark, so I didn't want to go in too much. Blush is the Lottie London Red Hot. This made it to the top five of my blushes for 2021. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But I absolutely love this blush. It's so cute. It just makes me look really, really healthy. And then back to the brows, and I'm using this Revolution Pro brow pencil. In this moment in time, my brow pencil is completely finished. So I definitely need to get myself a couple more. Highlighter is the Makeup Obsession Highlighter. I looked on the packaging of this highlighter for a name, but I can't find a name. But rest assured that I will link the products that I can find. I will definitely link them in the description box if you are interested. But this highlighter for Makeup Obsession is very, very pretty and very inexpensive. That's why I like it and that's why I really wanna, hopefully I can find a link for it because I know my highlighter junkies will appreciate this one. It is very, very pretty, I absolutely love it. You know, you don't have to use a highlighter if you don't want to, you know. There are times when I don't actually use highlighters, I just use a blush. But you know, there's sometimes you just want to be a little bit extra, which is allowed. Uh, mascara is the Makeup Revolution, I believe this is the 5D mascara. I've used this in the past, I've got it again, I absolutely love it. It lifts, it defines, and it just, it just looks really good. Decided to pop some lashes on. Um, instead of just rocking my lashes, I am a lover of both methods. Lip pencil is my MUA Obsession lip pencil. I did find another one in my collection, but I have purchased another one because this is my favorite brown lip pencil. If you're on the hunt for a brown lip pencil, definitely check the Makeup Obsession ones because they're the prettiest to use. So once I've lined my lips, I'm going to go in with the... Um, What's it called? The I Heart Revolution Cocoa Pebbles Lip Gloss in Barney. I have a lip swatch of this on my channel as well, but I love this color. I don't think I've got anything like this in my collection. It's such a beautiful brown. It just blends really, really well with the lip pencil. It almost looks like a liquid version of the lip pencil, to be honest, and it just works really well for this look. So once, that, once that's on, I'm going to use my setting spray to finish the look and it's the Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. And that is it. I absolutely enjoyed creating this look. I feel like you can wear it to any occasion. It's perfect for work, perfect for date night, perfect for the holiday season, perfect for even after the holiday season. So definitely sound off below if you enjoyed this look and remember to subscribe on your way out. Remember, God doesn't like ugly. Be nice on today and black lives always matter and I'll catch you soon. Bye.